I can't interview you without talking a little bit about what I consider to be the greatest work, some of the greatest work, I should say, that you've ever done. And it's a piece of work that Den of Geek called one of the greatest films of our time. I am, of course, talking about Digimon the movie. And All right. And not only did you voice Hawkmon, we all know, we all love, but you had two very small but very iconic roles in that movie as the teacher in the film that went, Finished! It can't end like this! And the voice of Meow.com. Thank you for visiting Meow.com. What was it like working on this truly iconic film? I am, in fact, actually very proud of both of those. Most of us voice actors, unless it's a line that we say over and over again, we don't necessarily remember that line. Mm. However, the two lines that you mentioned today, just now, are two lines that I very clearly remember reading. I mean, one of them was just the whole idea of, you know, I mean, the, the directors on it were, were, were Jeff Nimoy and Bob Buckholz. Jeff and I were working, and, and, he, and, and, you know, he gives you a line number, you go to it, you read it, and because of the contract that we work under, it includes not just one character, it includes uh, three or possibly four characters, depending on the... On, on, on the contract. So, you know, I did Hawkmon, and it's like, okay, go to line number. And it was the Meow.com one. And I saw it, and that's when I kind of sat there and thought, oh, all right. And I, and I you know, just the idea of, of saying, thank you for visiting Meow.com. If I can do it in one take and say, thank you for visiting Meow.com, and get it in the one take so the editor doesn't have to fit things together, so I'm not sitting there going, meow, meow, and doing that later. You know, he's got it in one take. Then I feel like I've done my job. So <laughs> I felt like I, I did a, a, a pretty decent job with it. And it's still, when I watch the movie, I, I do have a, a, a tinge of pride when, when that comes up. It's like, that was a fun line to do. Thank you for visiting meow.com. And then, of course, the teacher. So you'd have, you'd have lags in between takes. Sometimes they were switching out reels. Sometimes they were, you know, they were discussing the last take. Sometimes there's a call about another um, script, whatever it is. So an actor in a booth when the mic is left on is, is basically like a, a kid with a Super Bowl in a, in a concrete room. I mean, eventually you start playing with it. So, like, for me, when I was doing was doing Transformers, I would frequently uh, fall into a character called Optimus. And, of course, uh, you know, I'd sit there and Optimus Pine Transform. And so I would frequently, in Digimon, the thing that I would fall into for some reason, would be Ed Wynn. Mm-hmm. From a lot of uh, an actor who a lot of people would remember as as the uncle and Mary Poppins. <laughs> oh, I love to laugh. The British, the British uncle who didn't have a British dialect. So I kept asking Jeff when I could do it. You know, hey, let's use Edwin on this one. You know, when he's like doing a different Digimon, a guest Digimon, a, you know, a derivation of Hawkmon. All right, Neil, we need a new voice for Shurimon. All right, no, let's do... No. All right, we, we need a voice for Halsamon. All right, no, Halsamon, Wings of Love. <laughs> <laughs> you know, which, by the way, Wings of Love, I still, 15 years later, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> or how it's a weapon. I mean, even now that I'm married, I don't know how it's a weapon. But that's irrelevant. Anyhow, so we're recording Digimon, and Jeff says, he gives me the line number, and I'll never forget it, because he puts his his finger on the talkback button, and he says, now. And I look at him, and I said, now? He says, now. I said, now. And they were rolling, and I knew exactly what he meant, so it was like, you know, uh, ADR, so you get three beats, and on the imaginary fourth beep, you, you say it to, to, to match the picture. So, you know, the engineer starts everything up, and you hear, beep, 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 finished! So I was like, I'd say, I'm pretty sure we got it in one take. But, yeah, those those two lines I will 
I will forever have uh, burned into my uh, memory glands. 